Hey guys, um, welcome. It's nice seeing people in the building. It's nice seeing the seniors all together, or at least half of you all together. Um, I am Mr. Johnson. I am the senior class advisor and the graduation director. It is my job from now until the end of the year, June 4th, to make sure your graduation is perfect. Okay, that is my job, is to make sure your graduation is perfect. It's not my graduation. Okay, I'm just here to make sure everybody knows where to be, when to be, and those kind of things. Okay, so it is very important that y'all pay attention because I can't tell you how many times I say things and, well, I, we weren't told that. Well, yeah, you were. Okay, you were told a number of different ways. If you have not logged on to the senior webpage, there is a senior graduation webpage on the Southwest High School uh, official webpage. It is very easy to find. You go to the Students tab, down at the bottom of the Students tab, there is a tab for Senior Graduation. I will update that daily as needed. Okay, so I have updated it. It does say today we have a Senior Meeting. Okay, it also has all of the information that I'm going to talk about today on it. Um, and so you can find it if you forget what I said or if you um, are busy writing down stuff. Okay, so the first thing, the first page that you need to worry about right now is the one that says fill out this form before speaking to Mr. Estrada or Mr. Thomas. Okay, you need to fill that out right now as we're going. You need to fill this paper out right now. Okay, it has some questions on there, student name, ID, what college. This is stuff that we need. It's stuff that's important that you let us know about. Okay, we want to make sure that you get recognized for everything that you've done. And the only way we can recognize you for the things that you've done is if you tell us what you've done. Okay, so make sure you get that filled out. The second one you need to have filled out today is the graduation honor line nomination. Some of you have already done this. If you've already done it and turned it into me, you don't have to do it again. You can if you want. But basically what this is, is this is a way to recognize the teachers that have made an impact. Okay, these teachers will be part of graduation. And it is important that you appreciate them, that you thank them for what they have done for you. Okay, so please fill this out. We will have a space for you to turn in when you get your t-shirt and your other stuff. Okay, now the graduation stuff, the stuff that you're actually here for. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the timelines. So if you can get the timeline in front of you, um, I want to talk about some days that you need to make sure you know about. So I'll give you a second to get the timeline. Okay, the first day on the timeline is today. So you have done the first step. You are here for the senior meeting, okay? We are going to go through some stuff, as Mr. Black said, that's vitally important for your graduation. So, May 20th, the next day on the list, is the senior walk, okay? The senior walk will be at the main stadium, at the football stadium. You will need to be there on the visitor side by 6.30, okay? We are doing it differently this year. What we are doing this year is you will walk with whatever group that you belong to, okay? We are gonna walk around the track. You will be announced, not individually, but your organizations will be announced with y'all's accomplishments. So when the softball team goes, we'll talk about district championship and all of that good stuff, okay? When the other teams go, soccer, We'll talk about the district championship and all that other stuff, okay? If you uh, have accomplishments that you want read, where's Jacob? Get them to Jacob, and we will make sure that they are read, okay? I didn't tell you you were doing that, yeah, <laughs> okay? So those accomplishments can go to him. We want to recognize every group and every organization. Okay, so we will need to know those um, soon, within the next few days, by Tuesday. Okay, 
Any questions on senior walk? Okay, I didn't ask that, no questions. Yes? Can people make signs for their organization? Please make signs for your organization so you can be recognized. Okay, please make signs, banners, those kind of things, obviously school appropriate. But make those signs so everybody can see it. Tell your parents the senior walk will start at 7 o'clock. The senior walk will start at 7 o'clock. Okay, we've got a couple of things planned. One of the things that we're going to do is we're going to do the entire senior class together, socially distanced. We're going to do the um, spirit chant again. So that's kind of why y'all are practicing it this morning. Hopefully um, next Thursday you'll be able to be a little louder. Um, y'all had a chance to disrupt the entire school today and y'all chose not to. Okay, sorry. 24th, 25th are final exams. Okay, the 24th and 25th are final exams. You need to make sure that you log on to your classrooms. They are, if you are virtual, which most of you are, they are still going to be given to you virtually. So you do not need to come into school on the 24th and 25th. The 26th is the makeup day. So if you are somewhere, for some reason unable to take your test on the 24th and 25th, you can make it up on the 26th. The 27th and 28th, those are the next days that you really need um, to understand. Those are the days that I will be collecting, signing the final senior checklist. Okay, we will have an opportunity for you to come up. We'll have the counselors here, we'll have the nurse here, we'll have um, everybody here that needs to be here to sign off on those forms. They will be in the mall area for you to sign. You need to come in person. The most important thing that you need to make sure you get done is technology. If you have a hotspot or if you have a school issue Chromebook, if you do not get that turned in, as it says in bold, underlined, and big, students not turning in any school owned technology or materials will not be allowed to walk the stage. If you do not turn in your technology, if you do not turn in your textbooks, if you do not turn in your band equipment, whatever you happen to have, uniforms, any of that kind of stuff, you won't be able to walk the stage. Okay, and this is where I, I always have to be the bad guy. Okay, and I have to tell you, graduating is a right. Okay, graduating is a right. I'm a government teacher. Okay, and so right means it is something that you are entitled to that we can't take away. If you have fulfilled all of the state requirements, you graduate. Walking the stage is a privilege. Walking the stage is a privilege, and we can take privileges away. Okay? That is the least fun part of what I have to do is tell a kid that they don't get to walk the stage because they didn't turn something in or they owed somebody money or they didn't pass a, a stupid test. Okay? That is the hardest part of what I do. Okay? My goal is to get the 500 seniors that should be graduating across the stage on June 4th. That is what I want. Okay? I don't want a single person not to walk because of something that they could have taken care of before June 4th. Okay? So technology books, those kind of things, get them turned in. Okay? Get them turned in. The 27th and 28th, you will notice A through L in the morning, M through Z in the afternoon. You do not have to come both days. You just have to come once. When you get your checklist signed, you will get two different things. You'll get a graduation mask. Okay, a mask can be worn at graduation that says Class of 2021 and has the Southwest logo that will be worn at graduation. And you will get a wristband saying June 4th, 2021, Alamo Dome, Southwest Class of 2021. Okay, so you will get a couple of things there that you will need. The first, second, and third of June, you have to be here. Those are graduation practice days. We will meet in the mall. We will meet with this same group. You will be A through L at 930. M through Z, which shouldn't be you guys, but M through Z at one. Okay? You need to make sure you are here. It is very important. If you miss graduation practice, you will not have a chair at graduation. Okay? And I'll say that again a couple times. If 
You do not make it to graduation practice. You will not have a chair at graduation, which means you won't walk out with the seniors. Okay, you won't walk out with the fellow grad with your fellow graduates. So the first, second, and third, you've got several weeks to get off of work. You've got time to get that taken care of. You need to be here. Those days are mandatory. Okay, and that is something that I'm very serious about. Okay, my goal, as I said, is to get everybody across the stage. But in order to do that, you have to do your part and show up. Okay, you've got to show up. We will only be here for a couple hours each day. I will get through what I have to get through, and then we cut you loose. Okay, so make sure that you are here. The last day on there is the most exciting day of the year, which is graduation, June 4th. Okay, June 4th is graduation day. In case you didn't know, we graduate at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, students will need to arrive at the Alamo Dome between 10 and 10.30. You are responsible for getting yourself to the Alamo Dome. You can drive, you can drive, but it costs $10 to park. Okay, it only costs $10 to park. Every other year it's been 20. Okay, the city of San Antonio has lowered the price of parking for all graduations. Okay, so 10 bucks to park. That applies to your families as well. Okay, but from 10 to 10.30 you need to be at the dome. That's when you get to go. At 10.30, we will start practice. We will run through everything that you're going to need to know. Okay, at 12.30, we will retreat into the hallways of the dome, and we'll get ready for graduation. Exactly at 2 o'clock, graduation starts. The first graduate will walk out of the tunnel at 2 o'clock. We will be done between 3.45 and 4. Okay, my goal is to get all 500 of you across the stage between 3.45 and 4 o'clock. Okay, then you will have the rest of the day to celebrate or if you're going to go to Legacy's graduation, get your ticket for there and do that. Yes? For practice days, if you are A through L, you have to come in the morning. If you are M through Z, you have to come in the afternoon. The reason for that is because y'all are on different sides of the dome floor. Okay, and there are different instructions depending on what your last name is. Okay, so you will need to come at your allotted time. Um, now, Alamo Dome uh, procedures. Next page. Okay, the fancy one in color. Alamo High School graduation information. You can go through the safety code or the COVID safety. Uh, you have to wear a mask while you are on the premises of the Alamo Dome. Your parents, if they come, when they come, your families have to wear a mask the entire time unless they are actively eating and drinking. Okay? The dome will give you one warning. If they have to say something to you a second time, you will be removed and your family will be removed from the dome. This is a non-negotiable. This is an Alamo Dome policy. We have no control over it. Make sure your family knows they are required to wear a mask while they are on the dome property. Okay. Um, parking, it says there is 10 bucks. Um, Entrances next, if you can look at that. Guest entrances, I would give this to your parents so they can look over it because this information really applies more to them. That's why I gave it to you on a nice, you know, pretty big um, Clear bag policy. The dome policy doesn't change. They've got to bring a clear bag. No wrapped gifts, no balloons, um, those kind of things. There's the auto parking map and the seating map. Now, tickets. Probably the biggest and the most often asked question is about tickets. You will get your tickets to graduation when you turn in your completed checklist. Every student can have up to 10 tickets. You do not have to get 10 tickets if you only want four. OK, 
Okay, every student gets up to 10 tickets. Those tickets will be random, which means they are going to be spread all over the dome. There is a good chance that your families will not be sitting together. That is, once again, the dome policy, not ours. That is how the dome sets the tickets up. Okay, so don't worry about if you're M through Z and you have to come in the afternoon to pick up your, to turn your checklist in, you have the same opportunity to get tickets anywhere in the dome as everybody else. Okay, so don't worry about that. We do have enough tickets for everybody. Every, if every senior wants 10, every senior will get 10. Okay. The tickets are free. The tickets are free. There is no charge to get any graduation. Okay. If you have individual questions about tickets, you can always email me or you can call the school and, you know, they can send it to me. Okay, but ticket questions can go to me. My email address, if you want to write it down, is very easy. It's jjohnson at swisd.net. Okay, so if you or your family have any questions about graduation, jjohnson at swisd.net. Okay, moving on. Let's see what I've got next. Now, we are allowing you to decorate your caps this year. Again, just like we did last year. On the senior behavior contract, actually, the officers, do you have any one of the behavior contracts? Okay, on the senior behavior contract that you need to get turned into me, it goes through, it goes through the decorating guidelines. Okay, the suggestions. Thank a parent, grandparent, teacher, friend, recognize the university you will be attending. You can put your graduation here, the branch of the military you'll be joining, um, or some kind of encouraging words or slogan. Students will not be allowed to participate in the ceremony without a cap and gown. Caps cannot, okay, these are the things that the caps cannot, they cannot contain any advertisement, Symbols, abbreviations, initials, words, slogans, patches, or pictures that refer to drugs or controlled substances, tobacco, alcohol, or weapons, or be of a sexual nature. Okay, and what I mean by that is they have to be completely school appropriate. Okay, they have to be school appropriate. Okay, they cannot be obscene, profane, vulgar, or lewd. Um, they cannot include numbers other than the graduation year. Threaten, they cannot threaten the safety and welfare of anybody. Um, and only the flat top area of the mortar board can be decorated. Um, nothing hanging down other than your tassel. Um, decorations need to be flat on the cap. We don't want five foot towers of decorations on your caps. Okay, the caps will be checked before graduation. We will have spare caps there if yours does not meet these requirements. Okay, um, so it is very important that you follow these requirements. Okay, we want y'all to have fun. We want it to be your graduation. So we're letting you personalize it however you want within those limits. Okay, if once again, if you have any questions about your cap, feel free to email me. Okay, if you want to send me a picture to make sure that it's appropriate, send me an email. 99.9% .9 of what y'all do is going to be appropriate. Okay, last year we did this and we didn't have a single problem. I expect the same out of you guys. Okay, I'm not worried about it. That's not something that's, that's high on my priority list, even though it will be checked when we get to the dome. Now, your senior checklist. I've already mentioned this once, I will mention it again. You will need to get your senior checklist signed by me and by your counselors on the 27th and 28th. Okay, the 27th and 28th. Those are the days that you can turn it in. We've got lists over here on the wall and Mrs. Wagner will explain in a minute. But those are the dates 
that you get your senior checklist signed. You can also turn in all of your equipment and all that kind of stuff on those days. Okay? to talk to people that they need to talk to. Mr. Estrada is here to talk about that form that you need to fill out, that you should have filled out by now. Okay, and then the officers have a bunch of stuff to give you. Okay, we are gonna give you a t-shirt for next Thursday senior walk. You will get a t-shirt. That will count as your attendance today, just in case you were wondering. Okay, that way I know who showed up, who didn't. Okay, they will check your name off. They've got lists over there. If you receive cords, you will get your cords. I am going to take a couple of minutes right now and go over who gets a cord. If Alan will bring me that list. Where's Alan? Hey, he needs paying attention. By the way, in case you don't know, this is Alan. He is our um, senior class president and valedictorian. All right, so I'm going to go through this. If I call your name, if I call your name, you will need to go right over here to our wonderful master and Hannah, and Jacob, and Adelina, and Veronica. They have your reports. They will give them. So I'm going to go through 